to another edition of the On Demand. My name is Akshal uh, Today we're going to have another uh, celebration of what transpired here last week, uh, the continuation of the discussion with Economic Forum. Uh, we had a discussion prior to that for some friends of us to express their views on their expectations at the forum. Luckily, the forum came to an end on Thursday. We'll be here this afternoon as um, Mr. John Gachi, he is a senior lecturer uh, from the Cape Coast University, he's an economic and financial analyst. And uh, with me also as Mr. Kupropo, he's executive secretary, Ghana National Association of Poultry Farmers. That will be on our first segment, which is just about 45 minutes of discussion. On the second segment, we have the mainstream politicians to really dissect issues. <laughs> I know by then the temple <laughs> is the uh, want us to look at the political wing of the whole discussion uh, will be Honorable Timothy Atal Buadi Kangun, NDC Economic Team, uh, as Samuel Jeffy, MPP Economic Team, and Alistair Taro Nelson, PPP Economic Team. I'm sure these faces are quite familiar. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can just imagine what it would see. You can just call somebody out there to be part of this program on the banner. For this program, uh, we have our sponsors as Gold Coast Fund Management, uh, Gold Coast Security Company. Gold Coast Fund Management is a reputable fund management that has won two awards as the best financial advisory company 2011 to 2012. It is the only investment bank that has branches all over Ghana. You should invest with Gold Coast Fund Management for a good return. You can call them on 050. One two nine four eight nine three. Let me take that again. You can call Volcos Securities on zero five zero one two nine four eight nine three. And then we also ably sponsored by First National Savings and Loans, the People's Bank. First National Savings and Loans Bank has branches across the country. Coconut Group Hotel also happens to be part of our support. Send your messages or comments via our WhatsApp number. You can also text and it will be read live on air. 050 Let me capture that again. 050 You can bring your suggestions, whatever your expectations are to support. Uh, our discussion Ghana first is the agenda here this afternoon. You're welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank Kachi, you very Mr. much. Kuku, we'll start the discussion with you. Mr. Kuku. Uh, welcome to my world of top ones mm -hmm. again. Thank you. Mr. Kuku Singh. Uh, you were part of the recent held uh, forum at Senchi. At least I was privileged to have you uh, in a certain media network observing what um, your discussions, your opinions about what transpired there. What actually occurred, okay, just uh, briefly, the experience, how did it go? Because some of us were on the night side of Well, um, I think what happened briefly was that the whole forum was actually outlined into six thematic groups. Yeah. And various uh, groups uh, were headed by chairpersons with uh, facilitators rapporteurs and then participants uh, drawn from broad spectrum of the Ghanaian uh, population, uh, largely representing uh, various uh, stakeholders. Uh, we see academia represented, AGI. Uh, we also saw some professional bodies also represented, government officials, uh, National House of Chief was also represented. Uh, and that's how we started the entire process. Uh, various issues about the Ghanaian economy, especially burden on the structure of the economy and uh, the current challenges we are going through were on the table. And uh, the atmosphere surrounding the discussion was that of uh, seriousness, uh, frankness, commitment to the national cause uh, was what I observed during the process. Uh, I was actually uh, motivated uh, looking at people like uh, Mr. Kwame Jenny, uh, the former governor of Bank of Ghana, Dr. Paul Akwa, uh, um, former vice chancellors of uh, 
our universities, uh, those from TUC, they are all on the same table discussing issues that before the forum they were engaged in heated uh, and divergent view as to how the solution of the country should be looked at. And that was something very encouraging. And I think that if we can pass on that spirit to the national psyche, uh, that uh, we only see ourselves as people holding different ideas, but at a point in time we can come together uh, and try to align those ideas to solve national problems. That would be an asset for the nation. The meet similar uh, ones held with uh, <coughs> the How unique was this one from your? Well, the, the uniqueness about this one is that uh, uh, as it is right now, it is difficult for us to lay hands on what document was actually presented out of the last uh, held forum or dialogue. But now it was made uh, possible that we need to come up with a communique. Then a broad, our uh, detailed report ought to be presented uh, that would provide space for the Ghanaian people to, to, to applaud the, the forum, to criticize the forum, because they are going to form part of the learning process for the future. So that is a unique thing that I have seen, and also uh, in, in implementation and monitoring metrics have been developed uh, that will set priority for the thing that ought to be done immediately, those that ought to go through some kind of further negotiation, for example, the MPP was not there, but uh, we cannot deceive ourselves that the NDP is not a major player in our uh, political and economic discourse in the country. Uh, even though they were not there, there are issues that uh, the, the organizer ought to back on them again after the forum to see whether they will see reason to go into the discussion. Uh, in, in, I will not speak my language, but in my language, <laughs> we say that it is not all the people who go through the planting season who take part in the harvesting. So it is possible that you are not part of the planting, but when it comes to harvesting or weeding to, you know, to make that the crop uh, grow very well, you can take part. So in that spirit, because if you take Bank of Ghana, uh, direct, the directive they give to Bank of Ghana, for example, that thing will go to parliament. We have MPP parliamentarians in parliament. Are they going to work out because they were not part of the planting? So that is the reason why there is another work for the organizers and then there is another work for the MPP uh, itself to reconsider what the Ghanaians are expecting. Ghanaians see beauty in collaborating with one another. There is a still a job for them to do after the, the, the forum. So I think these are the things that I can say for, for now. For you as a participant, what, were, what was one of the major highlights and something that really struck you? Well, uh, for me, uh, it's only that many Ghanaians don't speak. Uh, those of us who work, uh, we experience nepotism, we experience tribalism, and all, we experience uh, patronage, we experience empire building, uh, so that if you don't fall into this category, you may be an astute professional, but you cannot exhibit your professional knowledge for your country and that is actually affecting the growth of this economy. So that second point, that talk about putting the national interest above all partisan, personal, parochial, sectional interest, for me is the highlight of what Ghanaians should be focusing on right now. Because uh, let's say that MPP was not there, but we all know that Mr. Kwame Pene is a member of MPP. The thing I saw him present, the thing, the thing that he put across over there, if he was not given space to come to that forum, how are we going to benefit from that, uh, that, that rich experience? So I think for me, we need to revise our thinking, our tribalism, our nepotism, our partisanship, all this. They're not helping us in, in, in any way. I teach, as, uh, there was an incident recently where two ladies were, were in front of me, and then they are very close friends. Not knowing the, <laughs> the first one is an MPP executive and the second one is, is an NGC executive. So I was asking, so how are you coping? 
they were just <laughs> they, they, were just, <laughs> they were just laughing, and th these are issues that I think have been highlighted in that <coughs> one particular point. Uh, but again, for me, uh, about a month ago, I made it very clear through one of the stations, specifically CTFM, which was captured on their online. I said clearly that you see, if you go to the corporate world, when the corporate uh, managers are going to report at annual general meeting through the annual report. The first thing they do is that they highlight the environment within which they operate, so that after that they can highlight the results they have achieved, giving indication to the stakeholders to judge them based on the environment within which they operate. Now, the environment within which we are executing the 2014 budget indicate clearly that uh, uh, most of the targets are not going to be achieved. Therefore, what happens in economic management is that you come and outline this and revise uh, the outlook. Uh, so uh, for me, I was so glad and satisfied that